Hello everyone, today I will talk about Iran's new generation F-313 Kahir fighter jet. This plane has a really interesting story. Before the Iranian Revolution in 1979, Iran was one of America's biggest allies in the Middle East. The Shah of Iran of the period loved and loved the Pahlavi planes. He especially had a special interest in American aircraft. At that time, he had every plane that came from America brought back to his own country. The most interesting example of this is the F-14. The F-14 was developed specifically for American aircraft carriers. Shah Pahlavi bought a large number of F-14s, but Iran did not have an aircraft carrier. After the 1979 revolution, many officers and pilots in the Iranian Air Force fled abroad. Then the Iran-Iraq War started. The Iranian Air Force suffered heavy losses in this war. Still, the Iranian Air Force, which somehow continues to exist, continues to use American-made aircraft, which are largely from pre-1979. In the 2000s, Iran aimed to produce domestic aircraft and two different aircraft were produced. Actually, these planes were not new planes. It was the overturned version of the American-made F-5 Tiger fighter jet. The picture on the left is of the F-5 Tiger. The one on the right belongs to an Iranian-made plane. There was not much difference between them, only the plane made by Iran had not one but two vertical wings. In 2012, an intelligence report was published that Iran was working on a new generation fighter jet. Kahir F-313 was introduced to the world in 2013. The Iranian government did not give much information about this plane. It was said that the plane was not detected by the radar and was a fifth-generation fighter jet. Pictures and images of the F-313 have been discussed and ridiculed on many forums. There is no information about the technical specifications of the F-313. There are only photos and images published by Iran but it is possible to criticize this plane just by looking at the photos and visuals. First, let's criticize his physical appearance. First of all, the F-313 is a very small aircraft. This plane is very small even next to the F-16. The F-313 looks more like a jet trainer or light attack aircraft. It is not possible for such a small aircraft to reach the range of an aircraft such as the F-16 or F-22. It is thought to have a maximum range of several hundred meters. In such a small aircraft, there is no internal weapon carrying compartment found in the fuselage of other fifth generation fighter aircraft. The Iranian government has never published those photos anyway. Other than that, the nose of the plane is incredibly small. Radars of modern warplanes are located in the nose. This does not change in the Western Bloc and the Eastern Bloc. There's no room for modern radar equipment on the F-313. You can install simple meteorological radars, which are mostly used in commercial aircraft, in this area. Unless Iran has designed a small AESA radar technology with an outdated technology, we cannot talk about this aircraft with radar. The cockpit of the plane is also extremely interesting. When you look at the pictures, you will see that the pilot almost cannot fit inside. The pilot looks like an adult trying to drive a battery-powered car. The devices on the plane were simple electronic devices developed for commercial aircraft. You can order these electronic devices in F-313 online. The cockpit of the plane is very simple. Far from a fighter plane. While the fly-by-wire system is used in all aircraft produced today, the mechanical system from the old F-4s and F-5s is used in this aircraft. In 2013, the first prototype of the aircraft had one engine. Introduced in 2017, the prototype had two engines. There is no information about these engines, but they are not modern engines and are thought to be General Electric Generation J85 engines. Another reason to think that this aircraft does not have modern engines is the thrust guidance system found in the Su-57 or F-22 Raptor. However, the Kahir F-313 does not have any propulsion system. This thrust guidance system, on the other hand, provides the aircraft with very serious maneuverability. The aerodynamics of the F-313 are very unusual and strange. 
In the F313, the air intakes of the engines are located in the upper part of the fuselage, which is generally not recommended in combat aircraft. Okay, the air intake of the F117 or B2 and some UAVs is also on the fuselage, but there is a reason for this choice. When you position the air intake on the fuselage, you narrow your aircraft's radar echo, but your air intake cannot take in enough air while your aircraft is performing hard maneuvers. Aircraft such as the F-117 and B-2 Spirit are tactical bombers and lack serious maneuverability. The mission of these planes is to enter enemy airspace silently, bombard, and escape. However, with a fighter jet you have to maneuver, and if your air intake is above the fuselage, the engine may not get enough air for every maneuver. Today, air intakes are positioned on the side or bottom of the fuselage in all warplanes so that the engine can take off sufficiently during any maneuver. Not to mention the wing design. To summarize, the F-313 can't even get into a dogfight with an F-16. I don't know if it has the ghost feature, but the F-313 has to carry no weapons so it won't show up on the radar. Maneuverability is not good at all, no one has seen this plane in flight anyway. It is not clear what the flying object was in the video they released when they first introduced the aircraft, and according to most experts, it was a remotely controlled aircraft. Former Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad said the Kahir 313 was one of the most advanced aircraft in the world. Apparently, if you put in 20 cents, it can make noise and vibrate, said Andrew Davies of the Australian Strategic Policy Institute. I may not have said many good things about the F-313 in this video, but there are other things that Iran is better at. Iran is indeed a highly developed country in nuclear and ballistic missiles. I will prepare a video about it very soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a nice day.